In this video, we will learn about basics of functions in Power Query. So for this, we need to go to the Power Query editor by clicking on Transform Data. And uh, here we need to right click and uh, then we have to click Blank Query. Go to the Advanced Editor, remove it. And uh, here you can see function starts with the open bracket and close bracket. And here we have to write anything. For example, if I write nothing here, then it, it will work fine. So this is the basic structure. So uh, is equal to greater than sign. So we have to put lambda. So what we have to display, hello world, that's it. So here you can see the syntax is fine, everything is okay. And if I click done, and then we have to click here, invoke. And we got hello world, right? So this is, this is the basic syntax of function. So let's proceed further. We just need to delete invoke function, right click here and delete. And uh, the query advanced editor. So here we have to now write, uh, if I write here A comma B and uh, if I write here a comma B these are the two fun uh, parameters and here if I write uh, a plus B that's it and now we need to click done so these are the two parameters and it is showing options optional right if I click invoke it will show me null because I haven't passed anything. So if I write 2 plus 5 invoke, then it will give me 7, right? So let's delete the invoke function. Home and query 11, advanced editor. And if I little bit enhance uh, this thing, for example, if I say, a as number and uh, only uh, this one right so if I don't specify anything here then it means B can have any any type and if I click done so here you can see we have no optional here we have only optional with the B so if I click invoke so here you can see I'm getting one uh, warning that uh, this is the required field. So if I put four and uh, click invoke, then four plus null will be null. And if I delete it, and then I click again, query 11, advanced editor, sorry, I have to click uh, like four plus five invoke then I, I will get 9, right? So let me delete it. Query 11, advanced editor. So here you can see if we specify type here, like A as a type, A, a as a number, then it will be the required field. And if I write B, then B like uh, is, it is an optional. And for example, if I write here, B as number and uh, then you will see here the both are non optional right and if I again go to the advanced editor if I write here optional like this one maybe the option O is capital or optional okay uh, and click done so here you can see the, this field is a required field and the B is the optional. If I write here 
5 and click invoke so here you can see it is also working fine um, because uh, null plus anything will be null delete and if I click here 5 plus 5 invoke so it will be 10 so we need to further enhance uh, this function delete and uh, so here we can add one parameter here for example if I say uh, temp temp as number and uh, then I'm I need to write here so this is because we have defined uh, we, we have declared this function here and we'll, and now we have to define here under let so it will be I will say like a result is equal to this is a variable and here I can write one condition here the if condition like if temperature is less than 20 then show cold else if temperature is greater than 20 and temperature less than 30 then it will be normal else you have to write everything in small then it will be hot we can write here for example temperature is cold uh, like this so I can copy need to put space here and uh, then again I need to put here temperature is normal And in the else case, it will be again temperature is 32 temperature and uh, is hot. That's it. So in the in the in, we have to write here result. So this is the here we have defined the function body right so now we need to click done and if I write here 34 invoke so we cannot um, apply operator and two type number and so there is some type error here for this we need to go to the we need to delete invoke function and we have to go to the advanced editor by clicking on query 11 advanced editor and here we have to for example temperature this is the numeric value and this is the string so we are getting error that we can't uh, we can't um, concatenate numeric with string we have to convert temp as a number into text so there is a function the name is number dot to text this one and it takes the parameter as a as a number this one we need to copy and then we can use everywhere temp where, where we have written we, where we have used temp we will write here temp and again here um, temp copy paste so that's all and now we need to click done 
and here if I write 20, uh, 34 invoke so I'm getting 34 temperature is hot right and then in the same way if I write here like uh, 12 the 12 temperature is cold right now the final part is we will write we will create a very simple table and uh, then we will see how we can invoke the, this function right so for this we need to delete delete this one and uh, here the name of the function is like we can uh, write here fn temperature this is the name of the function and uh, then we need to write here click right click and blank query advanced editor and here we have to write uh, one one table table type table temperature is equal to text uh, is equal to number and here we have to write hash define here list of lists so the first list is for example we can write here 19 and here we can write 22 and 31 and uh, here we write comma so this is a small table right and uh, the output is temperature and uh, 19 20, 22 31 and the name of the table is temperature this one first right so here now we we have a table and now we need to invoke uh, this function f and temperature so for this we just need to go to the add column invoked custom function and uh, the name of the column is we can write here message and the function query is f and temperature the the column is temp temp and we have to click ok so here you can see the in the message is 19 temperature is cold temperature is normal and uh, 31 temperature is hot and uh, if I if we click here again um, add column custom column and here is uh, we can write uh, second way second way and here we just need to call the function that is fn temperature and here we have to give one parameter that is temp that's it and uh, now if i click go to the ok if i click on ok and here you can see it is returning the same stuff right so you can either use invert function or you can use the custom function because every time when the function is running for every row it is taking the parameter from this row 19 and then they producing the result the because the function is producing the scalar value so that's all about uh, the usage of function in power query and if you have any question please write in the comment section and uh, if you like this video Please subscribe our channel. Thank you.